In this video, I want to introduce the expected value of x, otherwise written as e of x, so like this. Now, effectively, e of x is the mean of the distribution. Now, how do we um, think about it, however? Well, effectively, what it means is it is the value that I would expect to get, or rather, it is the value that, on average, I would expect to get after a long, long time. So let's say that this is a spinner with four, um, four sides. And this, these are the probabilities of getting each of those segments, of those sectors on the spinner. So over a long period of time, um, I might get an average value of, say, 1.1 or 2.1 or something like that, OK? Now, that doesn't mean that I could actually get 1.1 or 2.1, but what it means is that if over a long period of time and I got a 0, then a 3, then a 1, then a 2, then a 3, then a 2, then a 1, and so on and so forth, and I added all of those together and divided by how many there were, I should get something close to e of x, this expected value of x. And that's what we're going to calculate here. So the way to introduce it is to imagine that this table is a frequency table. So these are your x's and these are your frequencies. So if this was a regular um, frequency table problem, what we would do first is we would multiply each of the x's by their probabilities. OK, so we would work out what x times the probability of x equals x is. So we'd multiply the x's by their frequencies. So 0 times 1 twelfth is just 0. 1 times a third is a third. 2 times a sixth is a third. And 3 times 5 twelfths, well, that's uh, 15 twelfths, um, which I can simplify down to uh, 5 quarters. OK? So you get your x times f's, OK? Um, you add them all together. So the total, so let's write this over here, the sum of all the x's times their probabilities, or the x's times their frequencies, is equal to 1 third plus a third plus 5 quarters. OK, so let's get a calculator to do that. So we have 1 third plus a third plus 5 quarters, and that's 23 twelfths. OK? You would then divide um, by how many there were, the total frequency. So you would divide by the total each of each of your frequencies. But of course, 1 over 12 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 5 over 12 is just equal to 1. These probabilities will add up to 1. And so if I'm dividing by the total frequency, I'm just dividing this number by 1. So effectively, it doesn't change it. So in other words, the expected value of x, e of x, is just multiplying the x's by their probabilities and then adding them all up. So exactly what we've done there. So multiply the x's by their probabilities and add them up. So 23 twelfths, it's not a whole number. 23 twelfths is uh, approximately 1.92. Or 1.916 recurring. Now, that doesn't mean that I would expect the number 1.92 to appear. What it does mean is that if I did played on this spinner enough times over a long period of time, 
and I get 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and so on and so forth. I took all that raw data together, added it up, and divided by how many there were, I would expect to get 1.92. Okay? And this is it's a simple calculation to find it. Um, and I'm going to show you some more examples. Well, I'm going to show you another example of that in the next video.